Some dogs are cute and cuddly and fit in a handbag, but some are pushing on Clifford levels of huge. Some dogs are so big that they legally count as a country. These are the biggest dog breeds in the world. Number 15. Great Dane now, the gentle giant of the canine world, the Great Dane, is a humongous creature with a friendly nature. They're elegant and sleek dogs with muscular and athletic bodies built to run. Their massive size, although part of their appeal, also makes owning one of these special dogs pretty tricky. You're going to need a lot of space, both indoors and out, and they need loads of room to exercise. And when they're inside, their waggy tail is just an accident waiting to happen. Some owners have even dedicated a Dane room for their huge hounds to hang out in. The noble Great Dane was bred to run with horses while hunting huge wild boar, so they needed to be very large and strong as well as aggressive in order to tackle the boar to the ground. Nowadays though, these guys are a lot less about the aggression, but they're still colossal in size. People who choose these dogs as pets can expect them to reach extraordinary heights. <coughs> Oddly enough, there's actually no known connection between Denmark and this German breed of dog, so where the name is from is a little bit of a mystery. In Germany, they're known as the German dog. The name Great Dane is the English translation of one of the French names for this breed, Grand Danois, which means Big Danish. And no, it's probably got nothing to do with the pastry either. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Neapolitan Mastiff the Neapolitan Mastiff is a massive and powerful guard dog, and they've been keeping a watchful eye since ancient Roman times. Absolutely unique looking, the Mastino is a wrinkly and heavily furrowed beast known for its loyalty to its owners and its suspicion of strangers. It's no wonder these guys are some of the best watchdogs in the world. <laughs> Well endowed in the head department, the Mastino looks intimidating, carrying huge and powerful muscles in its bulky frame. And just look at it run. The faces flap so wildly that they look as though they could take off and go into flight. Weighing it at around 150 pounds, Mastinos are pretty hefty, but these guardians are also very affectionate and loyal to their families. However, they can also be a bit clumsy and will frequently knock things over by accident, which includes small children. So they may not really be the ideal choice for a young family. All blunders aside, they are loving and if well trained, make great companions, if not the neatest of roommates. All that flappy face also comes comes with a whole lot of drool, so slobbering is definitely a given. Number 13. The Irish Wolfhound The noble-looking Irish Wolfhound is amongst the tallest of all dog breeds on Earth. Stood on their hind legs, they can even reach heights of 7 feet tall. They've been wowing people with their extraordinary size and distinctive looks ever since Roman times. Faster and more lean than many other larger dog breeds, the Irish Wolfhound was used to hunt wolves, as you would expect from their name, and boar, as well as deer so they have great power and agility to match. Irish wolfhounds are real gentle giants and make wonderful pets and loyal companions. They are hardy too and do well in colder climates. Their shaggy, wiry gray coat keeps them warm and protected. These dogs tend to weigh in at about 120 pounds, but some are even heavier with an average height of at least 32 inches. You can see why they're amongst the world's biggest dogs. But if you're looking for a guard dog, this one is not really the dog for you. These guys are so friendly, in fact, that they're really not going to bark at a stranger, and they're more likely to wag their tails instead. Number 12. Alaskan Malamute 
Huge and powerful, the Alaskan Malamute is an ancient working dog. These incredible animals look a little bit like wolves and have a wild and energetic character that needs a whole heap of exercise and miles upon miles of space to run free. They are definitely not a lap dog. Not to be confused with a similar looking husky, the Alaskan Malamute is much bigger and has traditionally been used as a working animal in snowy and icy environments. They do love to exercise and think nothing of pulling heavy freight on sleds or even people through the freezing landscape. The Malamute is a dog that loves a wide open space and certainly won't enjoy being fenced in or confined. In fact, these guys have Houdini-like escape abilities and will probably just see an enclosure as a challenge. They can dig like nobody's business and will readily tunnel out of a fenced-in area, especially if they're bored or in need of expending more energy. But with their wolfish good looks, big personalities, and friendly characters, there's no wonder that this breed is a popular choice of companion for the outdoorsy type or in a working environment just make sure that they have somewhere to dig, even if it's their own sand pit, or else they might be digging up your garden whether you like it or not. Number 11. Briard No, that's not Cousin It. It's actually a lovely hairy dog with a big friendly personality to match the fancy hairdo. Hailing from France, the Briard was originally developed to be a sheepdog, both in herding and protecting flocks. And this is just exactly what they're going to do. They'll take care of their family as if they were a flock in order to protect against wolves and intruders, so that's reassuring. And if you have one of these big loving dogs, they'll also be fiercely protective as well as playful members of your household. Even Napoleon was a fan of these French favorites, and the breed became synonymous with the French army, eventually becoming their official war dog, put into service as a sentry for pulling supply carts and finding and rescuing the wounded on the battlefield. These remarkable looking dogs also have a distinct hairstyle with long fringes that have a parting in the center, like a teenage boy in the 90s. They come in a few different colors, but the most common varieties are black and haystack, which is named, you guessed it, because it looks like a haystack. Hey -o. Number 10. The Black Russian Terrier the mighty Black Russian Terrier is a working dog of the highest order. These big intelligent animals are loyal and protective of their families. Known as Blackies, these dogs have been bred to work and they really do love to have a job. Historically, they've been used as military and police dogs, and their intelligence is what lends these unusual looking animals to excel in these very specific environments. These extraordinary dogs would be developed in the USSR during the Cold War and were specifically designed to be perfect working animals. Their exceptional coat keeps them warm in the Russian winter, and their remarkable intelligence serve them well in their roles on army patrols, as guards in the gulags, and to chase intruders. This pup is like a canine universal soldier. The Black Russian Terrier does learn very quickly and can be well trained in the right hands, but they're extremely clever and do get bored easily. And if you choose to own one, just know this. This stubborn breed needs to know that you are in charge, or else they're definitely going to take over. Blackies need a lot of exercise, they're powerful dogs and love to do agility training, so if you want to have one, you're going to have to learn how to run. Number 9. The Akita now here's a big dog with opinions, and these guys aren't really shy about sharing them either. The Akita has a long history as a guard dog of the nobility in feudal Japan, or as hunting dogs prized for their size and strength, which gives them the ability to hunt and bring down large prey like black bears and deer and wild boar. But these days, they're more likely to be found as a loyal guard dog and dedicated companion to regular people like you and I. Aside from their charming good looks and endless loyalty, these dogs are also super chatty. 
No, not in the usual barking style that you might expect from a dog. The Akita makes a lot of little funny grunting sounds and mumbles. Their owners can kind of communicate with them as it seems as though the dogs are really getting involved in all kinds of conversations. And that is a unique characteristic for sure. Of course, a roommate who never stops chatting would get a bit annoying after a while. So if you do have an Akita who won't stop gossiping, simply just give them a job carrying something around. Luckily, these dogs just love to be helpful, so lugging stuff around for their owners is going to please them to no end, and you might just get five minutes of peace out of it. Number 8. Dog de Bordeaux the Dog de Bordeaux has the biggest head in all of the dog kingdom. These extraordinary animals are great powerhouses with some pretty distinctive features to boot. Shortened to DDB by their fans and those in the dog world, the Dog de Bordeaux is believed to have been around since ancient times. Popular as dogs of war amongst the ancient Romans and as hunting and guard dogs in France throughout their history, it was until the French Revolution that DDBs were mainly kept as guard dogs by the mega wealthy French aristocracy. And when that all ended in the rolling of heads and the echo of guillotines, the dog Bordeaux then found work in livestock farming. During the First World War, these brave dogs would be trained to rescue wounded, stricken soldiers from the battlefield. Made famous by the 1989 classic Turner and Hooch, when a big slobbery DDB starred alongside Tom Hanks, these guys have become popular in the United States as well as Europe. They're great working dogs, often being trained as rescue animals, and one DDB named Boomer was even employed in the rescue efforts of 9-11. These amazing dogs move like lions, have an affectionate personality, and make loyal companions, which is why the breed has some die-hard dedicated fans who spend their lives breeding and caring for these magnificent beasts. Number 7. Boer Bull the Boer Bull is one huge dog. These are well, the bodybuilders of the canine world, and their bulky, stocky bodies are all power, so beware of the dog. These big dogs hail from South Africa, where they're often used as protection on remote homesteads. <laughs> There are, after all, a whole bunch of wild animals down there. The lions and leopards, you know, they just like to stroll through the countryside. Considered a dangerous dog in many countries of the world, the Boer Bull is actually banned in several places. These big guys have a little bit of a reputation for being a great guard dog, but also a bit of a thug. They're very loyal and won't back down when threatened. In fact, these dogs have been known to get into a bit of a pickle with big cats like leopards, as they're fearless in the face of danger. This is why they're often chosen to be guard dogs, but all of that bravery does come with potential aggression toward other animals and people that the dog doesn't know. That can be a dangerous combo, so these big beasts do need to be very well trained, and their owners need to be extremely responsible as well. Or things could easily go very wrong very fast. Just look at the muscles on this dog. Historically, the Boer Bull was a war dog, and there's a good reason that they were chosen for that particularly violent job. They are massive. Males, well, they can easily weigh up to 200 pounds. Number 6. The Bloodhound the Bloodhound's famously effective sense of smell is precisely what these dogs have been bred for throughout history. They're such good sniffers that they're able to trail people over difficult terrain, and they can be trained to smell out pretty much anything that needs to be found. Oh, and they do all that while looking so gosh darn adorable under their trademark floppy ears, wrinkly skin, and friendly eyes. What a fabulous pooch. <laughs> However, this extraordinary sense of smell can sometimes get the dogs in a spot of bother. 
They are compelled to go sniffing things out because they just can't help it. That's how they were built. They'll even hurtle off in pursuit of any kind of interesting smell, and if they're not kept on a lead, who knows where they may end up. This tracking compulsion can be a single-minded mission that even their owner may not be able to convince them to stop. So if you decide to take the plunge and bring home a bloodhound, these dogs are going to need some serious training. The bloodhound is used today in search and rescue to assist police, and their tracking abilities have such a good reputation that their findings are even admissible as evidence in court. Number 5. The Romanian Meoritic Shepherd Dog A lively, stubborn, scruffy, and devoted companion, the Romanian Meoritic Shepherd Dog has a whole lot of charm. And as their name suggests, these dogs originate from Romania, where they lived in the Carpathian Mountains and were bred to guard livestock. They're fiercely loyal, extremely protective by nature, and are a huge breed, but despite their size, they're actually active and surprisingly agile. These dogs do have a characteristic shaggy coat that gives them their charming appearance, but with this much fur comes the need to be groomed. A weekly brush is going to help keep these animals looking their scruffy best. This is really a hardy breed, and they're used to harsh winters in the tough mountains of Romania, so they're really more of an outdoorsy kind of animal. Though much loved in their native Romania, the Meoritic is little known elsewhere in the world, but if you do end up welcoming one into your home, as long as you train it very well and make sure that it knows that you are in its pack, this dog is going to love you and protect you to the ends of the earth. And really, who could ask for anything more? Number 4. The Doberman Pinscher The super alert and perky-eared Doberman Pinscher would be developed in the 19th century in Germany to be an aggressive protection dog. These pups have a reputation as fearsome guard dogs, but when they're properly trained, Dobermans can be loyal and calm companions. And Mr. Pilar's first breed is the Doberman Pinscher. Muscular and powerful, the Doberman is fast and agile, and they've long been successful as show dogs. They're obedient and fearless guardians, and have served as working dogs in the United States Army, the U.S. Marine Corps of World War II, and became famous for their work alongside troops in the Pacific. They were even known as Devil Dogs, but sadly, 25 of these noble animals would lose their lives in the Battle of Guam. Loyal service is not really uncommon amongst this breed, whether as police dogs, search and rescue workers, or even protecting private homes. The Doberman Pinscher is a dependable dog with an elegant appearance and an imposing presence. And you? Well, you're going to want to think twice before you even bother one of these chaps. Because even their impressive deep bark may be sufficient enough to put off many would-be troublemakers. Number 3. The Anatolian Shepherd Dog Now here's a hound with a heritage. The Anatolian Shepherd Dog hails from the area known as Asia Minor, which is basically Turkey. These big but nimble dogs have been around in one way or another ever since the Bronze Age, and that's really some kind of pedigree. Way back in the Babylonian Empire, there were actually references to this breed's ancestors in the ancient art that was created during the time. That's all the way back to 2000 BC. These guys even turn up in Bible stories as well. Despite the big, hardy breed's timeless qualities, the Anatolian Shepherd Dog didn't really make an appearance in the United States until just before World War II when the Department of Agriculture was apparently using a breeding pair of these dogs to take part in a top-secret sheepdog project. This was really just about trying to find a breed that would perform best on sheep pastures in America, but its top-secret title makes it sound so much more intriguing. <laughs> this would be abandoned at the advent of the war. But by the 1950s, ranchers were actually importing these big working dogs, and they've become a firm favorite in the decades that followed. These beautiful hounds work tirelessly protecting livestock all over the states, with animals from sheep to llamas and ostriches in their care. They're even brave enough to send a wolf running for the hills. Number 2. Commodore 
Is it a massive sheep? Perhaps it's a mop with legs. Well, it's actually the incredible Commodore, and they were bred to guard sheep. Perhaps their similar appearance has helped, because these dogs are awesome sheepdogs. Commandorok, the plural of Commandor, by the way, are super loyal, super protective, and super hairy, and really strong-willed to go with it. Hailing from Hungary, the unique Commandor is an energetic and eager-to-please dog. They'll guard everything from livestock to their family and home with fierce loyalty and devotion. Commandorok have very strong built-in protective instincts, so if they perceive a threat to their owners, they'll behave in a defensive manner, and they need to be very well trained in order to keep everyone safe. The unusual appearance of this breed's shaggy coat comes with a few issues of its own. The characteristic cords don't need to be brushed, but this unique dog's coat does need to be kept clean and free from parasites. These dogs do tend to get extremely whiffy if they get damp. To keep them looking their moppiest, they're going to need regular visits to a groomer, or they'll end up looking and smelling distinctly unpretty. Number 1. The English Mastiff now, the word mastiff is actually used to describe a massive dog with a huge head that's used for hunting, and there's no denying that this dog has indeed got a huge bonce. The English Mastiff is believed to be one of the oldest of all domesticated dog breeds out there. The modern-day Mastiff descended from war dogs called Molossus, which were roaming around over 5,000 years ago. The dogs that descended from these fierce war dogs were often kept as guard dogs, on a account of their huge size and tendency to be just a little bit scary. And in the gross old times tradition, the old English Mastiff would also be used as a fighting dog, set against wild animals and used in bear baiting. Mercifully, those nastier hobbies were outlawed in 1835, and the breed would then be released from its violent reputation. Modern day English Mastiffs are still pretty big, but these guys have a lot less in common with their more vicious ancestors. They're generally regarded as big old softies, more likely to be a friendly family pet or winning prizes at the dog show than they are leading troops in the battle, which is all just as well. So do you like big mutts and you cannot lie? Did any of these awesome animals surprise you? Let us know all about it, your favorite big dogs in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.